Hey, this is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com and I'm going to explain what the root means in music. Alright, so let's just take a simple chord, first of all. G chord. The root note in this chord is G. Alright, so let me explain what this means. Basically, a root note is like the, uh, the foundation of that chord. Just like a, a tree has roots, which is the foundation of that tree, and that tree grows on top of those roots, well, the same thing with a chord. You have a root note, and then you have the rest of the chord that grows or develops on top of that root note. So, um, the root note is usually the lowest, just like a tree. The roots are just like the lowest part of the tree. Um, the root note in a uh, chord is usually the lowest um, note of that chord, which is the same thing as the chord name. Okay, that's an important part. So, if we have a G chord, you're looking for a G root note. All right, so the lowest G that we have in this G chord is here on the top string, a low G. We have three Gs to choose from, G up on the top string, open G on the third string, and the high G on the first string, third fret. But our root note is the low G, because that's what the rest of the chord is built on, okay? All the music is built on a pyramid uh, structure, which the low is gonna be on the bottom, and you're gonna have uh, the majority of the low sounds on bottom and it's built to the top okay because high frequencies are real loud and stuff anyway so you don't need as as many highs but um all music is built from the lows to the highs now with all that said the root note being the same name as the chord the root note can change all right so you might have seen slash chords like a g over b or a uh, g over a or g over f sharp um, that means that the root note has changed in that chord. So the root note may not always be the same as that chord name. So let's take a chord for exa example, a um, very common chord called G over F sharp. That means we're playing a G chord still, but the top note has changed to an F sharp. So it's a G over the F sharp. So the F sharp is now our root note. So we have an F sharp on the top, second fret, then the rest of it is a G chord. And you can do this with a lot of chords. Let's say maybe um, an A5 over C sharp. So an A5 or an A chord or A2, whatever chord you want to play, you can play A. Um, your basic root note is your low A. It doesn't mean it's going to be the lowest note in the chord either, because my lowest note strumming this is a low E. Now my uh, low E is not my root note. My lowest A is my root note, and my lowest A is the next string down, string 5, which is my low A. So that's my root note, but I can change that root note to a C sharp, 4th fret on the 5th string. Now I have an A5 over C sharp, it's a slash chord, so I'm changing that root note to a C sharp. And this can be done all over the place. Um, it's done all over um, music, um, church music, rock music, classical music. You can change root notes to give that chord a different sound. Let's look at one more example. Um, another very common chord is a D over F sharp. Um, you can actually use your thumb on this if you want to. So just play a normal D major. You should know this chord. And just take your thumb and grab that F sharp on the top string, second fret. So no longer is your D um, the root note of the D chord, but your F sharp is the root note of the D chord. All right, so basically your root note is just what note that the rest of the chord is established from.